ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಡೀಡ್ ಮೈ ಪ್ರಿವಿಲೇಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಟು ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಲೆಬ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೈಲಿ ರೆಕಗ್ನೈಸ್ಡ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ನಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಮಾಧ್ವ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನಾಲಿಟಿ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ witnessed in the recent past and personally it is probably my greatest fortune to have lived in the era in which the great saint of the century shri shri vishveshatirtha swami ji of pejavar adhoksha jamatha i wish to express few of my thoughts and experiences that i have witnessed during his stay on this planet shri shri swami ji appears to me in three dimensions and i wish to express those dimensions in front of you first of all <clears throat> as an individual i have seen him i got an opportunity to witness his personality very closely and very silently and the second dimension is my approach or my understanding of his personality as a student of psychology in the third dimension is my understanding of his personality as part of another matha that i belong to so when i see him from these three dimensions he appears to be a marvelous a gigantic personality that anybody can even imagine so first of all i need to give a small brief of how i encountered him like any other normal madhva i too had seen him during various occasions events his presence the way he used to deliver lectures the way he used to conduct himself amidst common men but i was lucky to have witnessed him very closely during my education at purnapugna vidyapeetha you know i was visiting purnapugna vidyapeetha every evening under uh, pandit shri badri acharya uh, badri acharya used to teach me on the entrance steps of the vidyapeetha hostel badri acharya would deliberate a lot of concepts from various uh, madhva shastra and i always had an opportunity to witness shri swami ji entering vidyapeetha premises i have seen him encountering various people from various walks of life i have witnessed him interacting with students of vidya peetha i have witnessed him talking with other scholars from the madhya shastra and from other shastras i have witnessed him being indulged in serious conversations over phone with various you know people of authority and when i used to look at him the only thought that would come to my mind is how is this even humanly possible you know a man who did not even enter school who did not get so called modern education who <clears throat> had a very apparently closed 
environment who was a pitadipati who was supposed to be you know caught up in the four walls of the traditional monastical setup how did he even achieve this he was able to interact with small children there were videos which went viral where a small baby walked up to him and a small little girl kissed on his cheek and he became a child he started clapping laughing enjoying the moment i have seen him getting indulged in a very senior ferocious conversations on the most controversial topics where he would assert himself where he would put his foot down and say this is what i believe in and he would always welcome other viewpoints you know <clears throat> great yogis are said to have ashta shaktis right <clears throat> i don't know if we get a chance to experience all the um, ashta gunas or ashta shaktis the anima mahima garima ityadi but with shri swami ji we have personally seen him being a small little child which is anima and being the most magnanimous scholarly personality which is garima and mahima so many character characteristics that he has portrayed himself without making it a big issue making it a big event it was so naturally flowing in him i have personally seen him <clears throat> sitting and planning for events you know like a manager he has sat with his team and said what sweet should be done for the upcoming event he has sat with his you know counterparts other swami ji's of other matha and he has discussed deliberated he has argued debated a lot of things in order to bring unity in the matha community so as an ordinary man for me he appears to be an impossible phenomenon i don't think anyone can even think of becoming his replica the second dimension is when i see him as a psychologist what comes to my mind is the humanistic school of psychology talks about you know uh, experience of an individual to be a whole you know the holistic approach that humanistic psychology talks about and in that many theories say that uh, a full fledged full blown personality is the one who experiences everything every walk of life and somebody who aims at self actualization the self actualization in psychology means slightly different from what philosophy says so shri swami ji is an epitome of a self actualized personality you know he has he has portrayed himself to be one among the common man who doesn't assume anything the most unassuming personality and he has also shared dias and probably has emerged as one of the most uh, evolved or superior personalities among his contemporaries <clears throat> and it was possible for him only because he was a self actualized man when we psychologists talk about self actualization what we mean is somebody who has a beautiful congruence of the ideal self and real self for him <clears throat> you know what he was what was his ideals he, which in other words to put it in a simple terms he 
practiced, he lived his ideal self. You know, I have seen photographs in which he was cleaning his own room. He was brooming his own room. I've seen uh, photographs where he was sitting in, in some corner with just one glass of milk, quickly gulping it to rush to the next event. I've seen him sitting on a big throne like a king. I've seen him marching with people for a cause. I have seen him, you know, talking with people who come from different communities, different belief systems and trying to be one among them. He was a self-actualized man only because he was able to pull in all different faces of his personality. <clears throat> he has congruence between his ideal self and actual self. He was able to, you know, make it possible to follow all that he preaches. He preached simplicity, he followed it. He preached unanimity, he followed it. He preached unity, he followed it. He preached scholarship and he followed it. He preached uh, being able to, uh, to reach out to people who are in need and he followed it. He preached everything that he followed and he followed everything that he preached. And that made him probably such a magnificent personality that we all look up for. And <clears throat> I'm, I, or I would be very happy and I would be very proud to show him as an ideal to my next generations and say that you have a role model and we have seen him alive on this earth and as if I can say a representative of another Matha Shri Shri Padraja Matha that I personally follow I have seen him very closely from the other side of the dais you know uh, I still remember when uh, my Guru, Shri, the past Pitadipati of Shri Padraja Matha, Shri Shri Vijnana Nidhitirtha Swamiji, when he was on his uh, last, last days, uh, I got an opportunity to serve him and I was with him in his room and Shri Vishveshatirtha Swamiji entered his room to check upon his health. He just walked in and Shri Vijnana Nijitirtha Swamiji was not keeping so well. <clears throat> he was unable to even uh, talk a word, utter a word. Uh, I would say Shri Vijnana Nijitirtha Swamiji was, he had started his journey to the next world. When Pejavar Swamiji had entered the room, until then, Vijnana Nidhitirtha Swamiji had fixed his gaze and he had slowly, you know, packed up his body, you know, his legs weren't working, his hands weren't working. So he had gradually the, the, the typical kind of Utkranti that uh, Brahma Sutra talks about, Sri Vijnana Nidhitirtha Swamiji had displayed that. And when Pejavara Swamiji entered the room, Shri Vijnana Nidhitirtha Swamiji moved his gaze and gave an eye contact to Pejavara Swamiji and both of them shared a beautiful smile and there was nothing else between them except for the smile and the smile meant thousands of words. <clears throat> Pejavara Swamiji sat there for about 15-20 minutes. He was talking to all of us he was asking how is he doing and you know he expressed his uh, concerns 
ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ನೀತಿತೀರ್ಥ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಜಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಾಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಸ್ಮೈಲಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಗುಡ್ ಬೈ ಟು ಈಚ್ ಅದರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎವರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸಮರೈಸಸ್ ದ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಪೇಜಾವರ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಜಿ ಪರ್ಸ್ನಲಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀಪಾದರಾಜ ಮಠ ಇನ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒಕೇಶನ್ ಪೇಜಾವರ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಜಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಹಿ has a very long standing relationship with shri padraj matha he had seen uh, right from dayani dhitirtha swami ji is what he says um, and at every occasion he says every pithadipati of shri padraj matha had extended a very hearty and <clears throat> close bonding with him uh, i remember shri vignana niti tirtha swami ji uh, sharing his experience of you know constantly talking to pejavara swami ji during the uh, issues at pajaka where you know the government had some issues the government wanted to take over the pajaka kshetra uh, and the kunjaru giri and all of that uh, vignana niti tirtha swami ji had uh, had a very close conversation with pejavar swami ji during that event and in many other several occasions and pejavar swami ji i'm sure has such eloquent relationship with every other madhva pitas and madhvetar pitas and i am so happy that i got this opportunity to see him from the shripad raj matha perspective and with shripad raj matha personally he had a very strong hearty cordial relationship and page uh, shri vignana niti tirtha swami ji had made one statement personally to me where he said that you know page our swami ji wantingly or unwantingly gets into a lot of con- controversies and he shri vignana niti tirtha swami ji said that those controversies are needed for pejavar swami ji because he is the guardian of the entire madhva community he said pejavar swami ji has made everyone follow him without even asking them to follow which is so true we all have been following him and i think we all will continue following him and that is the great personality that we all have witnessed with these few words i surrender to shri krishna who is the antaryami of bharati ramana who made me speak all these words and i'm very happy that i got this opportunity to express my thoughts and feelings harai namaha shri krishna arpanamastu